Across four months, we've been following the Northern Marlins as they prepare for the National Deaf Rugby Tournament. Pride's at stake, these men want their team's name on the shield. Rugby's their passion, but they're all busy with their whānau. David's a first-time dad, figuring out how to communicate with his hearing son. Go! Go! Talia's training night and day for the upcoming bodybuilding champs. Say Lucy's weeks are taken up hunting for work. Like all the team, Orbeti's determined to prove himself at the Shield match, though he probably should be hanging up his boots. I'm a good tackler. I've got some great skills and I'm experienced with the deaf blacks. Great skills, yes, yes, but we're just a little bit older now, a little bit more like old crab. It's an annual event. The Southern Rams hold the national title, but the Shield's been flown up to Auckland in readiness for the big match. So this is the uh, National Deaf Interzonal Championship Shield. It'll be played for now 20th year this weekend. So if we have a, a closer look, uh, in 1994 was the first time the Shield was played for and it was won by Central. Uh, uh, 1998 was the first time that the Northern Marlins won it. And then you have to look very, very closely, and we're down here again in 2011. So all the other, the little shields there are either central or, or southern. So there's an empty spot there. So um, as this year's my last year of coaching, I'd, I'd really like to see the Northern Marlins name on there. So we'll just wait to see what happens over the weekend. As we drop in on the guys this week, Talia is about to compete in the National Bodybuilding Champs and find out if all that working out and extraordinary eating has paid off. Or Petty and Nicola are off camping. Do you want to go to the zoo today? David and Jamie plan a trip to the zoo. You'll see the giraffes and elephants. Big elephants. Big ears. Do you know where you're going? Yep, yep. You know, near Ponsonby Road? Yes, yes. Then onto the motorway. Okay. All good. Talia is cramming in one last meal before the bodybuilding competition. Every ounce counts. I have two of these every day, in the morning and in the night. He likes quinoa. He likes to eat two of these a day. But they're quite expensive. They're expensive, eh? But he likes it. How much is all those costing you? Uh, too much money. Roughly? That, that's $19 just for that. That's expensive. For one, that's $19. Over $200 a week? One week, maybe over $200 for his food. More than that, for all of this. Okay, make it $300. <laughs> Show money. I've never been camping before. He'd never really camped. We went to, yeah. where is that place beginning camped. with W? Before he met me, really. We always seem to be buying new camping gear. <laughs> I always want to make sure it's going to be done and put together right. Petty just gives it a crack, which I don't think that's anything to do with being deaf. I think that's just to do with being male. I think, um, start at the at front. the front? Okay. The you think there's three blue All right. in the cross pods, but you need to peg the side first. So, oh, look. Yeah, when I nice first started learning to sign, oh. I was asking about all these words, and there were no signs for them, or the signs were the same as something else. And I realised that in the English language, we have all these words that we use that actually don't mean anything. So we use superlatives all the time, or we just yeah. use five different words to say the same thing. I was asking for words, and Petty was saying, oh, I've, I've shown you that word, it's this, and I'm like, oh, that's just the same cool. word. That should hold, yeah, that should hold it enough, yep. Okay, do you want to do yellow or red? Toddler Jaden has been raised bilingual. As he rapidly learns speech, David needs to keep reinforcing sign language. 
Jaden, what's that? It's an elephant. So what is that? What's he eating? He's eating his food. For months, Tali has been working on his physique. While Mel has been cooking up a storm, feeding him every couple of hours, so his body is perfectly honed for this day. Thank you, Mel. You, you've been a great help with buying all the food and has helped my bodybuilding. Five o'clock in the morning, when you get up, you make the breakfast, cook the chicken, the beef, whatever, pack my lunch ready for me to go work, and you do all of this all the time. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Mel is in charge of making sure every muscle looks perfect. I need more on. Can you, can you get some more and I'll pay you back? Yeah, we need to buy one more of those. She likes to do it by the we manual. I like to just get on with it. It would be there all night. We have a different approach to understanding and learning how to put up new tents. I like to, re I like to read the manual and understand it first. And Petty just likes to turn up at the campground and see what works and which might go where. So we always try and buy tents that are quite easy to put up. <laughs> He can't hear anything, so Tali is able to stay completely focused as he prepares to take his turn on stage. Over there, look. Monkey jumped monkey in the tree. Jumped in the tree. He eats them all up. Orangutan. Right? It's good. Over there. You oh, you have to do it in that order. <laughs> okay, got it. I know. It's a little bit messy. <laughs> it didn't take me too long to realise that um, kind of when you're when you're a hearing person and you get frustrated, you get kind of angry or frustrated, that you use tone and you use sound. So if you can imagine as like a hearing person, kind of what you would look like when you're kind of angry, frustrated and screaming, but without sound, like you actually just look really stupid. So, <laughs> so <laughs> like, you know, it's actually not very effective. Raising your tone is actually not an effective way to communicate. And if you think about, you know, the actions and the body language that's associated with that, it actually you just realise that you look really stupid. So I learned reasonably early that actually there's no her. point in kind of um, being angry and frustrated um, to just kind of let it all go and then to sign what you want to say.
The judges call out which pose to strike. Talia has to take his cue from the other men, but keep his cool. He didn't claim the prize today, but he'll be back. It's game on, the first day of the tournament. The Marlins' opposition are the Central Stags from the Lower North Island. And last year's champs, the Southern Rams. I'm pretty keen to get the game going. It's going to be good fun. We've been doing a lot of training over the weeks looking forward to today. So yeah, this is the first game and I'm looking forward to it. Well, this is my last year. What? Yep, then I'm retiring. Yeah, he's becoming old man. He can't keep going. I'm looking forward to playing with the Northern Zone Marlins today. It's going to be a tough game. Full sun, but we'll just get on with it. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough, dry field. We don't care. We'll just get on with it. Really looking forward to beating them. That's our aim. So I'm going to get on with it. Come on, Southern Zone. Let's show the Marlins our red and black hearts. The Marlins have been hard at it training for three months now. This is Scott's last tournament as coach. He wants the shield, the team wants the shield. But have they done enough? Last year, I think they played in Wellington or Christchurch, and I couldn't go. Italia went, so... Yeah, but looking forward to today and tomorrow. How about Talia? Do you reckon he's... How's he? Um, yep, yeah, he's looking forward to playing today. And then, yeah, so it should be a good weekend. Yeah, hey, I know it's great to see all your mates from around the country, but when we're playing the game, we do not need to be nice to them. We need to get out there and smash them. If you see your teammates out there and they're struggling, it's your job to encourage them, support them. If we're attacking, fine. Boom, boom. Wings cover. The Marlins get off to an impressive start, dominating the contact zone with big hits. But the Southern Rams strike first with a penalty. Deaf rugby players listen with their eyes. It's rugby union rules. The ref still uses a whistle and the normal hand signals. But sometimes it takes a bit to realise play has stopped. They'll get a scrum, five metre scrum. The referee actually blew, his, blew the whistle and put his hand up and I think they thought it was a tribe. Talia prowls the sidelines. 
Oh, it's good so far. Mm, so far, it's okay. We need to catch up though. He's okay. Looking every day of his 40 years out there amongst those young guys, but holding his own quite well. This is, he wouldn't normally play number eight. Go, so. go, go, go. Oh. Well, he used to be a back. Yeah, first five or four back. But as he's got older, they've moved him a little bit further forward. The Marlins have an opportunity to put some early points on the board, but it's not happening. David sees an opportunity Mom. and calls for the ball. Where's Daddy? Here. The Southern Rams are under pressure and try and clear their line. It breaks open and David scores a try. What happened there, Jamie? Oh. Have we got a try? Oh. Yes. David. David's good. Yeah. Things are looking up. It's 5-3 to the Marlins. The Rock is on the money. They're away now. Another five-pointer. By half-time, it's looking good. 10-3 to the Marlins. This is not the starting team. You haven't got your mind on the job. You're thinking too much about what you can do. We just need you to pass the ball. Pass the ball. You hit that, we'll get penalised. Just let them hit us. Back off. OK? We will get the penalty. Because the ref saw it, but if we swing that, we lose it. OK? Keep cool. Let's get angry, sport. Back off. Right, the second 20 minutes, I can see that you're all improving. The back line's growing with confidence. Why was it? We've just put a kick up recently. Three players followed the kick up, but no one made the tackle. Miss, miss, miss. We didn't go to plan in the first half and it cost us a couple of tries probably, but the boys need to really start to polish up the second half and if they want to take the game out and, and actually start following the game plan a bit more. But, it's, uh, it's hard out there. It's more power, yeah. <laughs> more power, less speed. But we've still got a long way to go. Things were looking quite good for the Marlins in the second half. Then the Southern Rams scored a try and the tide turned. Things didn't go well after that. The Marlins lost, they just lost. They were leading and then about 10 minutes before the end, they lost. Well, there you go, I mean, that's what we've always, you always got to look out for, like 15, 13. So I think, the, you know, the boys did their best, that's all you can ever ask for. So. Yeah, no complaints. Rugby's rugby, it's a game. So, we, yeah, another game tomorrow, so we're going to just go and work out how we're going to attack that one. So, yeah. yeah. A few injuries to deal with, but no, we will. Day two of the tournament and yesterday's results are still fresh on their mind. No, we just made too many mistakes, really. Um, I think the guys were probably a bit, bit stiff and, and weren't relaxed enough, so that's what we talked about today. They're up against the Central Stags, and to have any chance of taking the Shield, they must win today, and win well. What we need to do is we need to get five points, get a bonus point. We picked one up yesterday, so that, that would give us six points, provided we win.
This time there's been a few changes. Tali is on the field and Orpeti's back in the position he knows best. Second 5-8. The Marlins earn a penalty close to the line, but there's no shots at goal today. They need tries. Sai Lucy crashes over the line, scoring early points. Half time, and they're well ahead. 14 0. That's not enough. But if I think yesterday, same time, awesome. Are you enjoying it? Same for the sun. Never give up. Okay, we never give up, right? How's Talia doing? I think he's doing okay so far. He's got in a few tackles, so that's good. I don't think it's going much better. They're playing much better. They're definitely playing much better as a team today. So, yeah. Nope. They're looking, they're looking like they've got a little bit more energy, so maybe they had a bit of sugar with breakfast or something. Second half, game on. The Marlins are ready to pounce on any opportunity. Finally, all that training's paying off. The Marlins are on form. In the end, it was a convincing victory with the Marlins beating Central 31 to 7. That was much better. Yeah, pretty happy about that. Can't complain. We got our five points, which is the goal that we were looking for this morning so it's just now waiting to see what happens tomorrow but really happy with for the guys really because you know it was a vast improvement on yesterday which they needed to do the marlins now need central to beat southern but the southern rams make quick work of the stags and the shields going south again as the night wears on and the party begins, the boys are replaying the matches in their heads. First half was awesome, but in the second half, we let them catch up. We made too many mistakes, especially handling errors. A lot of lock-ons, a lot of scrums. I think the team got a bit of a panic throwing the ball away. South took the game. Well done to them. Oh, I'm really happy, eh? Yesterday's game against Central, we thrashed them. And that was really cool. It felt awesome. Coach is adamant he's retiring. He's promised his wife he would. 12 years is, is, is a fair while, so... No, it's been just a lot of fun this year, and... You, the boys need to just rebuild and move on to the future and, and fresh faces, fresh ideas. Someone new to come along and coach us is what they really need now, so it's time for me to take a break. But already the boys are considering whether they've got one more season in them. So he, he, he officially retired about two or three years ago. I think maybe you're just a little bit too old now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some good feedback from the other guys about my performance. So I learned some new skills and I'm looking forward to being part of the action next year. Oh, I've probably had enough. Yeah, it depends. I have to ask the wife and see what she says. I need permission first. <laughs> I love rugby. I know, you love it. You love rugby. <laughs> <laughs>